I had an avid supporter, a subscriber, email me and ask me what I thought the most important skills, qualifications, or qualities are for a person to become a correctional professional in 2022. Oh, I'm so honored that you were wanting, soliciting the opinion of little old me. That's the loud mouth nobody from nowhere. <laughs> Seriously, let me do, let me do my serious face. I'm honored to help all of you on this journey, in this profession. So keep forwarding those questions. I'm gonna do the intro right here. Corrections is an unusual choice for a career, meaning that it's not a profession that a lot of people pursue on purpose. People want to be astronauts and accountants and actuaries. <laughs> actuaries, I don't know. I just picked something that started with an A to match the other ones. <laughs> Never met anybody who wanted to be an actuary. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I do know one and he's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, no offense to the other actuaries who actively watch my channel. The point is that corrections is often overlooked by job seekers and it shouldn't be. Corrections with all of its craziness and challenges and crap is a really great career field to get into. It's super rewarding, decent pay, benefits, and hey, it's recession proof and pandemic proof. But I like this question because I think that there's a lot of people out there that would make really great officers but, but aren't considering this career because they have no experience, no exposure to this world or, or this environment. But that's okay. Today I'm going to change your mind and show you that you do have what it takes to work inside. So grab a pen or a pencil and take notes <laughs> because this is going to be gold. First and foremost, the number one most important skill, gift, talent, is the ability to communicate. Can you participate in social intercourse? <laughs> Easy does it, sickos. Let's just start over. Can you talk to people? New people? Large groups of people? Can you conversate about anything, anytime? Not only that, can you listen? Can you actively listen to the person you're engaging and interacting with? I should probably do a video on the differences between talking and communicating because some of you are really good talkers, but terrible, terrible communicators. But I digress. Do you have customer service experience? Are you a waiter or a bartender or a barista? Did you work a job where interacting with other human beings was a large part of your duties? That all carries over. That's all great because a large percentage of a correctional officer's day is spent communicating with the population. Number two, are you a good team member? Team player? Can you or have you worked with a group of people towards a common goal? Have you ever done a project at school or at work where you collaborate with your peers to complete something? Sure you have. That's relevant experience. Working with a group of two or three that are organized and motivated and strong enough to carry the rest of the team that aren't pulling their weight? Yeah, that's corrections. <laughs> Look, corrections is a team sport in which officers have to support and rely on each other to survive. So the stakes are a lot higher, but the principles are the same. And number three, multitasking is a must. Correctional facilities are the epitome of organized chaos. Lots of things are happening all at once and then something will happen that will derail, delay, and undermine everything that you were trying to accomplish. I think that if you've ever worked at a restaurant drive through during the lunch rush, you've gotten a little taste of the pace, the frustration, the craziness that correctional officers deal with inside. <laughs> Actually, that's a great example. Here you are trying to work as fast as you can, cars wrapped around the building, little Jimmy burnout didn't show up so you're taking orders and dropping fries. Meanwhile, Karen and her carload of cheerleaders are chastising you, yelling at you, berating you because their food took 45 seconds longer than it should have. And in the face of all of that, you smile, hand them their order and say, have a nice day. Shall we do another? <laughs> okay, but before we do four, give me a thumbs up if you're getting some value out of this video. Oh, you're so sweet. Hey, while you're there, why don't you subscribe? You are too kind. Are you ready to continue? Are you ready? <laughs> do you guys remember that song by Korn? I think it was called Blind. And that was like the jam back in 1994. Wow, that was 28 years ago. <laughs> I'm getting up there. All right, sorry, I got off track. Number four, a quintessential quality that will qualify you for a career in corrections is your character. Are you a good, decent, hardworking individual wanting to serve your community in this capacity? Motives, morality, integrity, and the way you carry yourself, the way you see and treat other people is all important in this profession. Remember, we're in the people business. We're not there to administer justice as we see fit. We're there to make sure the population serves their sentences without harming or hurting themselves, us, or others. So if you're looking at this process because you were bullied in high school, or maybe you're looking to exploit a vulnerable population of people for your own weird whatever, don't apply! Because if you're a crappy person with shaky morals and insecurities, you're going to be a liability. I say this because people, correctional officers, get caught up. 
turned out fall victim to the felons and their own flesh. I say all that to say this. If you're looking for a challenging career with, with decent wages and benefits and you can communicate, multitask, and work well with the team, then take a look at corrections. And if you have any questions about this career field, feel free to comment or email me at justcorrections at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help. If you like this video, check out this video right here on the 10 commandments for correctional officers or this one here on physical size and does it really matter. All right, guys, that's all I got until next time. Be smart, stay safe, stay sane. We'll talk soon.